Hello, my name is Cameron Prince from Tesla Universe, and today we're going to do a product review of the Kalit Pro Tesla coil. Now, I recently saw an ad for this Tesla coil on Facebook, and I decided to give it a try. So here we have the package. I ordered it a couple of weeks ago. It came in over the weekend. I almost opened it, but I thought, you know, maybe we'll save this uh, and do a, uh, a review. So let's get started. So we've got our scissors here. We're going to slice the top of the box. And go on the sides. And let's see what we have. We've got two boxes. That aside, and okay, so the white box uh, is a power supply, um, standard, well, I say standard, no, it's 48 volts at 2 amps, <laughs> so that's a pretty serious power supply. All right, let's open the main unit here. That's a nice box. On here, it's called uh, 10 CM Tesla coil with a Bluetooth symbol and uh, uh, that's kind of neat on the side we have uh, salute Nikola Tesla and there's a replica of Tesla's signature on the other side a very fancy box on the back here we've got uh, the model the 10 cm um, obviously made in China that's uh, the address there and the description is Tesla coil. So let's uh, open her up. I kind of feel like I'm opening a, an Apple product a little bit. So nice packaging. Wow, look at that. Very, very elegant looking. I'm, I'm impressed. So we've got music and spark switch there. Uh, power and frequency. And then our power port. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, so it looks like from the picture is neon bulbs and a breakout point. We definitely need the breakout point. Let's pull that out. Screw it in place. Now what's mysteriously missing are instructions. So I assume those are located on the website. <laughs> Maybe. Let's undo the power cord here. What's also suspiciously missing is a ground because the power supply is ungrounded and I don't really see a connection uh, provided for one either. Hmm. <laughs> right, we're going to try it anyway. In here. Let's turn the power all the way down. And we'll put our switch on, or leave the switch on spark there. Let's plug it in. Wow. So, no power switch. Let's, uh, let me set it down. Now, I know this camera isn't great at picking up the spark so you'll just have to trust me I can see a little bit of one. Oh, there it goes so hey I don't feel a thing with this one 
that's pretty neat so it's it's uh making you know two inches two inches very thin and snappy okay let's change the frequency here see what happens hey that looks better Ooh, nice that was the power control going out oh yeah she's really really doing something now so i'm gonna dim the lights a second Darn cute. Very impressed. Okay. So we're back. What did you think? Isn't that impressive? <laughs> I mean, I didn't really get it all the way up because it was arcing over to the sides. Um, I was probably uh, three quarters of the way up, but you know, that was a good four inches or better. That is super impressive because look, I mean, if you look inside, uh, there's a ribbon cable feeding both the secondary and the primary on the same cable. That's super impressive. So that means <laughs> the ground and the power for the primary are both going in the same ribbon cable because the, there's no metal connecting the top board to the bottom. We've got uh, what appears to be a, maybe a DC to DC converter there. I see some small chokes in the middle. Um, three large electrolytic capacitors. And then there's a, a multi-pin connector that is leading from the board down to whatever is mounted on the heat sink. Okay, let's, um, let's see about Bluetooth. This thing's supposed to have Bluetooth. So let's plug it back in. Uh, I'm going to put it on Bluetooth. So maybe it won't start right away. Okay. There, now we're on Bluetooth. Okay, so we need a phone. Let's go into the phone here. We'll go to Bluetooth, turn it on. And let's see if it sees anything. There it is, Tesla Coil 10. Boom. All right, so we connected. Yep, we're connected. So do we play music now? Hmm. I'll just pick something here. Um, how about some ACDC? Let me dim the lights again. So the Bluetooth isn't uh, nearly as good as MIDI. Um, maybe with some very uh, rudimentary um, tracks that it would do better. But wow, I'm really impressed. And you know, you can buy this on Amazon for 50 bucks. Um, I paid more than that because I bought it through the Facebook ad. But you know, I was searching um, 
for information about the coil and I found uh, that, that you could buy it on Amazon. $51, right there it is. Um, this would be a great gift for a kid, hobbyist, an experimenter, um, a science lover. You know, great gift for Christmas. So um, I'm going to give this a thumbs up. I'm very impressed. So, and this, you know, for you guys who follow along with the podcast, this may be a driver for the Colorado Springs uh, lab. We may be able to adapt this. Uh, to drive the the coil in the model so we uh i'm going to end this video now and keep it short but we'll do a follow-up where we open this guy up and see what makes it tick for now thanks for watching we'll see you next time